This is Masinlok School on the Air in collaboration with Servision Putog Radio DWSP 101.5 News FM Our teacher broadcaster for this hour Teacher Jingle T. Alejandro of Santo Rosario Integrated School This is another learning experience in technology and livelihood education. Beauty care, nail care services, and exploratory course. Abot kamay ang pangarap sa edukasyon para sa lahat. Sulong edukalidad. This is the Department of Education School on the Air and you are listening to Servisyon Putog Radio, BWSP 101.5 News FM Good day, dear grade 7 learners! Welcome to another lesson of learning and technology and livelihood education. Beauty care, nail care services. Exploratory course full of knowledge and skills. I am Jingle T. Alejandro, your teacher facilitator for today's lesson from Santo Rosario Integrated School. I believe that being beauty conscious is no longer a sign of social class, but of a healthy lifestyle and well-being. Are you ready to learn new lesson grade 7 learners? Great! Before we start, Please find a comfortable and quiet place where you can clearly listen to our broadcast. Prepare your needed materials. Listen and take down important points as we go on learning adventure. Our topic for today is about perform basic preventive and corrective maintenance. And at the end of this lesson, you are expected to 1. Enumerate ways in keeping the tools and equipment safe and functional. 2. Observe proper way in keeping workplace clean and safe. 3. Perform cleaning tools and equipment according to standard procedure. Last module, you have learned on how to check condition of nail care tools and equipment. This lesson will guide you on how to perform the basic, preventive, and corrective maintenance. Are you excited to learn grade 7 learners? Good to hear that! Let's start! First, let us review the terminologies used in cleaning tools and equipment. 1. It is an agent that prevents the multiplication of microorganisms. 2. It is used to control microorganisms on non-living surfaces. 3. It is a process of destroying all microorganisms. Number four, a liquid mixture in which the minor component is uniformly distributed within the major component. And five, it is the application of measures to promote public health and prevent the spread of infectious disease. Let us check if your answers are correct. 1. Antiseptic 2. Disinfectant 
3. Esterilization 4. Solution and 5. Sanitation How many correct answers did you get? Good job, class! Now, let us discuss about basic preventive corrective maintenance. Why do we need to keep our tools and equipment clean? Great! It is very needed to sterilize metal implements, sanitize wooden tools, and disinfect hand and foot spa machines to prevent infectious diseases. What will happen if our tools and equipment are contaminated? Impressive! Do you know that contamination can cause bacterial and fungal infection that are unsightly painful and sometimes fatal? How are you going to keep tools and equipment safe, clean, and functional? There are several ways to keep our tools safe and functional. 1. Sterilize metal implements after its use in hospital-grade disinfectant. 2. Disinfect foot basins after its use with a bleach solution. 3. Use a boiling method of sterilization once a month to disinfect all metal implements. 4. Store sterilized metal implements in an airtight, zipper sealed bag to keep them from being exposed to dirt and bacteria. And number 5. Inspect tools and equipment regularly to identify defective ones for repair, replacement, or condemnation. Those are the five methods to keep tools safe and useful all the time. What are the nine ways to measure if the salute is clean and safe? In keeping the workplace clean and safe, 1. All beauty salons must be well-lighted, well-ventilated, and must be in good sanitary condition. The salon premises must be free from rodents, vermin, and flies, or other similar insects. Number 3. All salon establishments must be provided with continuous running hot and cold water. Number 4. The curtains and floor coverings in the salon must be washable and keep clean. And number 5. All hair, used cotton or other waste materials must be removed from the floor immediately and deposited in a closed container. Number 6. The restrooms must be well sanitized and be provided with individual towels. Number seven, each beautician must wear a washable uniform while working on clients. Number eight, each client must be provided with a freshly laundered towel. And number nine, all waste material should be disposed of in an enclosed waste bin fitted with polythene bin liner, durable enough to resist curing. Have you learned something today? You're amazing! Now we are done with our discussion. It's time to apply what you have learned from our lesson. Are you now ready with your pen and paper? Great! Please open your learning module on page 7 and answer the given assessment in your paper.
Let us try to answer item 1 to 10 of the assessment part of your learning module on page 7. I'll give you 10 seconds in each number to answer each question. Directions. Choose the letter of the correct answer. And write your answer on a sheet of paper. 1. Metal implements after every use to avoid infection or possible disease. A. Disinfect. B. Sterilize. C. Sanitary. D. Enclosed. Number 2. Put basins after each use with a bleach solution. A. Disinfect. B. Enclose. C. Boil. D. Directed. Number 3. Metal implements once a month in a pot for 10 minutes. A. Store. B. Boil. C. Sanitary. D. Lander. Number 4. A sterilized metal instruments and an airtight zipper cell bag to keep them from being exposed to dirt and bacteria. A. Inspect. B. Sterilize. C. Store. D. Water. Number 5. The regular process to identify the defective tools and equipment. A. Inspect. B. Sanitary. C. Enclosed. D. Disinfect. Number 6. All beauty salons must be well lighted and ventilated and must be in good blank condition. A. Sterilize. B. Enclosed. C. Sanitary. D. Water. 7. Salon establishments must be provided with continuous running hot and cold blank. A. Water B. Inspect C. Boil and D. Store Number 8. All waste material should be disposed of in a blank waste bin fitted with polythene bin liner. A. Inspect B. Directed C. Enclosed and D. Store Number 9. Each client must be provided with a freshly blank towel. A. Stored. B. Laundered. C. Inspect. D. Sterilized. Number 10. Measure and mix disinfectant as blank. A. Directed. B. Inspect. C. Store. D. Boil. Let's check if your answers are correct. Number 1. Sterilize. 2. Disinfect. 3. Boil. 4. Store. 5. Inspect. 6. Sanitary. 7. Water. 8. Enclose. 9. Plundered. And number 10. Directed. Did you get all the correct answer? Great! You're amazing! Now, for your performance, do activity on page 6 of your learning module, cleaning of nail care tools and equipment. You can seek the help and guidance of your parents, especially in holding sharp implements. First, clean your metal instrument. Second, disinfect your foot basin. And third, sanitize your orange wood stick and nail brush.
A good job guys, you're all amazing! That ends our lesson for this hour. Bear in mind that keeping the tools and equipment clean, safe, and functional is very important to maintain their good condition and keeping the workplace clean and safe contributes to your overall safety and to your clients. Remember also the saying goes, prevention is better than cure. Thank you for listening. Again, this is Mom Jean of Santo Rosario Integrated School. God bless everyone. Goodbye.